transit Mars in Scorpio square natal Saturn in Aquarius. You may feel frustrated in your ambitions. Heavy workloads, responsibilities, and exhausting effort can make you feel bitter, resentful, and hostile towards authority. Look ahead to your goals, delegate work to others, and harden your energies with self-discipline so you can pull yourself through. Avoid carelessness that could cause injury through machinery, tools, falls, auto accidents, or skin inflammations. Your trust can be shaken through sudden changes of attitude from others which can affect you. You can be exposed to undercurrents of manipulation connected to your shared interests and objectives through people you trust which can have a powerful effect on you. You can feel rebellious and betrayed and your trust can be broken. You may come to a conclusion that they have other interests which don't include you, so you can feel let down. When this happens, friends and associates who no longer serve a valid role in your life will fall away which can bring about new beginnings. When trust is broken, associations can change your end and you will assess the true value of friendship and trust. You have to change your psychology to move away from the past and progress. When transit Mars is square your natal Saturn, it is important to proceed carefully and slowly. It is necessary to make an effort in everything that requires it, no matter how much it costs, since, if you lose to some obstacle, a feeling of inadequacy will arise and you will have to struggle with your insecurity and your inhibitions. Something always goes wrong during these days, so you should not feel unsuccessful but feel the strength with which you have to overcome those obstacles or those people who are in your way. You will have to learn to be more careful in your dealings with everything that has authority over you. You need to be respected and something makes you feel how difficult it will be to get it. You must also learn to overcome your negative feelings, to define your goals realistically, to recognize the truth about who you are and not to blame others for your conflicts. You must be responsible and aware of your mistakes and also have the necessary discipline to correct them. Only by confronting yourself will you overcome doubts, and you will be able to distinguish the part played by external circumstances in your difficulties, and the part you play yourself. Love and private life. You need security and want to work towards achieving this. However, you may tend to act in a hasty manner. Sit down and make a list of all the things which make or could make you feel more secure. After you have done that you can turn your attention to the situation at hand. Trying to convince your partner to marry or move in with you won't automatically make him more faithful. Fear of being alone shouldn't be your main motivation for wanting a stable relationship. If you feel it's necessary try first to get your own life in order. Try to be clear about what you want and take care of your own needs. If you can do this you will place less of a burden on your relationship and allow it to evolve more freely. You may not feel like doing anything, and someone, possibly your partner, may try to meddle in your own affairs. Whoever it is, make it clear where your personal boundaries are and stick to your guns. If you resonate with this reading, don't forget to subscribe.